Hello, this is Seams Art. I'm an illustrator and comic book artist. Today, we're going to see how to use the new color mixing tool in Clip Studio Paint. Mixing colors is an extremely common task in traditional painting. Colors can be blended together and mixed to create new nuance in a different way. On a palette, with or without the use of paint thinners, with the water, to the bucket, directly on the canvas, on the brush. However, when working in digital, things work a bit differently. And in this video, I'll show how the color mixing can help with that. What's the color mixing? Where can I find the color mixing window? Color mixing tool description. Mixing colors with the color mixing tool. Illustration sample. What is the color mixing? The color mixing is a tool available in Clip Studio Paint that allows the artist to mix two or more colors inside a window that will stay permanently in the program even when closing all the illustration or the program itself. It's particularly useful when it's time to try colors out and to keep the color palette consistent through multiple illustrations, for example. It also helps to create color variations or gradients mixing multiple colors that otherwise should be mixed on a canvas. It is different from the color set and intermediate color because it allows us to save a blend between as many colors as we want instead of a single color value. Like in the case of a color set or just being able to mix four colors at a time like in case of the intermediate color. However, there is no better or worse way of mixing since each of these tools has their case use during the choice of colors. Where can I find the color mixing window? The color mixing can be found in going in Window, Color Mixing. Once the window appears, it can be placed anywhere in the workspace, or let it stay disconnected from the rest of the interface and dragged around based on the situation. Color Mixing Tool Description The color mixing window has a different icon in the bottom right corner or clicking the burger menu in the top left corner. Let's start from the one on the bottom. We will find a set of default colors that we can expand with custom colors by clicking on the small color box in the bottom left corner of the window, selecting a color and clicking on the plus button. Moving on the bottom right, we will find a list of buttons respectively to clear the window from any color we will add, an undo and redo button, three size preset for the brush, a tool to select the brush we are currently using, and a default round brush, a blending tool, and a color picker. In the burger menu, we have a shortcut to zoom in and out or reset the canvas zoom within the color mixing window. Once again, we will find undo, redo, and clear the canvas, a sub menu where we can change the background color of the color mixing tool canvas and different tools to replace the brushes in the color mixing menu or to reset them to a default value. We will also find different buttons that will allow us to replace the little reset the colors in the small color palette of the window. Lastly, we will find some options to hide the different toolbars from the menu in case we don't need them. Moving on the color mixing canvas can be done like a normal canvas. Panning can be performed by pressing space and then clicking and keeping pressed while moving the pointer in a direction, while zooming, pressing Ctrl plus space and clicking and keeping pressed in the canvas while moving the pointer up and down. Alternative zooming is possible using the mouse wheel on the canvas. Mixing colors with the color mixing. Mixing with the color mixing menu is particularly intuitive. We can either decide to do it with a basic brush and blender already available, or we can mix with our favorite brushes and blenders. For this tutorial, I will only use the default tools. First, I select the brush and its size. Then, I select the color, and at this point, I draw on the canvas in the color mixing window. At this point, I select the second color, and I put it in the canvas near the previous color. I can either smudge the color directly, or leave the two colors separated and blend them with the default blending tool. I add as many colors as I need and I blend them together to create intermediate colors. Notice that the default brush tool will only work with a digital pen and won't work with the mouse leaving the marks without blending the colors. The blending tool instead will work both with mouse and digital pen. Once the color palette is complete, it's time to draw our illustration. 
During the illustration design, we may want to add new colors to our color mixing window, and we can do it easily using the eyedropper tool. Selecting the color from our illustration and painting it in the color mixing window. Alternatively, we can also use the plus button. As a personal tip, don't overmix the colors because it usually will give unwanted muddy grayish tones. Use it instead to mix a limited amount of hand-picked colors in a clean way. I like to make color wheels with a limited amount of colors or color gradients between two hues. With this simple, we reached the end of this video. I hope you will find some of these tips useful and for any question, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can find more about my work on Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. See you next time.